Welcome to the annual SOD conference. My name is Deborah and I want to say right now I love Sin On Demand. It has changed my life. If you join SOD, it can change your life too. And you can believe that, tonight, our host is a man of many talents. He is head of one of the largest SOD territories. He is a man on a mission for sin. Show your love for Alan Evil. Yes, I'm the one you've been hearing about. I'm Alan Evil. I've been a member of SOD for 15 years and I'm mighty proud of it too. If you want drugs, we got them. If you want liquor, we got plenty. If you want free sex, we got a lot of that too. If you're a Jesus freak, this is not the place for you tonight. Go ahead and excuse yourself before we get this party started. And don't go quoting me no scriptures around here cause I don't want to freaking hear them. But before we go have fun, we must get down to business. The issue tonight is our SOT conversion rates. Guys we gotta work harder and get these churches on board. There is no excuse. You have tools at your disposal, so use them. If they need money, give it to them. If they need a bigger building, buy it for them for Pete's sake. We need 100% compliance from these freaking pastors. I would have 100% compliance if it weren't for Pastor Paul in my district. The old fool is holding out. I've been trying to convert him for the longest time. He is a tough one. He seems to be happy in his old dilapidated building. He could have a grand place to worship but he chooses to worship in racks. What a shame. But we're not here to complain, are we? We're here to celebrate our achievements. Tonight, we have one SOT rep that has 100% conversion of all churches and pastors in his region. He has proof that with a little hard work and persistence, it can be done. So without further ado, put your hands together for my friends and my brother, Roger. Thank you, thank you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this honor. I consider it a privilege to be with this organization. Now I have something to live for. Sin on Demand has changed my life for the better. I have a new direction in life. I now promote sin everywhere I go. Thank you, Sat. Isn't that great? Aren't you excited? Aren't you ready to convert the world for SOB? I am more determined than ever to convert that Pastor Paul in my district. Now let's have a word from my partner, Peter. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. I'm Peter and I just want to briefly discuss with you our plans for the next fiscal year. We want to push forward and convert more churches. We also want to penetrate the expanding markets. The nation is going through an economic depression, and it's time to capitalize on that. Many churches are hurting financially and need serious help. This is where we come in, be that help they need and you will convert them to our organization. There are new opportunities for growth so let us not forget our street prophets and missionaries. Sometimes we focus so hard on brick and mortar churches until we lose sight of traveling preachers and evangelists. They are equally as important and valuable to us, so get them converted also. Let's explode the influence of sod. Get out there and make it happen. Wow, all right. Peter, thanks for the pep talk. I know I'm ready to get out there and make it happen. Now that we have our business out of the way, let's get on down and have some fun. Like I always say every year, don't do anything that I wouldn't do. Ha 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 ha. And there ain't too much I wouldn't do. Now come on and let's get this freaking party started. Hell yeah. <laughs> 